that side of the page, we have this month's playbook for the stock market. Now, I only reviewed plays through the February 8th, and I showed you the plays up to February 1st. The first eight days, we've had six, nine total plays. And after those nine total plays, we had 12 plays in the ninth, and we have 56 players in the 15th and 46 players in the 14th. So even though the stock market is fairly slow right now, there are some huge plays coming up and a very strong bull market. One thing you can see from this list right here on our right is that you can tell when the good part of the month is coming. So already, just by showing you this information of my engineered playbook, you can tell that the 15th of this month is going to be the best day of this month. And the 14th and the 11th are going to be great days of the month. And starting on the 9th and the 11th, somewhere around there, that's when we're all going to start seeing growth. Now today, we have no plays. If you bought stuff yesterday, you should be selling it today. And you should be buying nothing today. This playbook that I use is you buy the stock on the day that it's forecasted. So for example, we have Ali, February 6th. You would buy Ali on February 6th for the best deal you can get for today. Now with some strategies on entering. But the nice thing about this engineered playbook is that no matter what you do, you are in an extremely consistent environment. So not only do I put you in a consistent, easy environment that's predictable, it's going to be different for every person because every trader uses different tools to trade. This is how I'm allowing you to level the field. You may be using tools on February 3rd, February 5th, February 20th, the 18th, the 19th, and your tool may be amazing, but you're just not performing. But then on the 15th and the 14th and 11th and the 9th, you're performing. It's because I'm giving you that consistent predictability environment. Your tool is not consistent. Your tool takes a lot of intuition from your own brain. Everything that's right there, a computer generating. All I did was download 722 stocks of their entire historical data, analyzed it, which I'm not going to share this valuable information with you quite yet, not for free. First, let's just get you producing with what I've given you, and i produced with what I've gotten. Um, and let's start talking about what I've accomplished with this, um, with this, uh, with this playbook. I've accomplished a 78% win rate with a 0.6% win on average per play. So 78% of the time, I'm making 0.6% on every single trade I make. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you do all these, I mean, there's a lot of plays right there. There's a lot of plays. And I can normally net about 7% a month, which comes out to be about 270% a year. And compound that, keep your money in for six years. After six years, $10,000 goes to 1 million using this system with my output results. Incredible. Now, I, I created this system, right? And I'm trying to create better systems. But I have already succeeded. And I want to try getting the success out to all the people who have not had as much success on the stock market. The problem with me is I'm always trying to do better. As I'm always trying to do better, better, you're going to fail. 
it, it's part of learning. And I failed a lot before this trading, and I failed after. But objectively, this has worked for me. Um, some trading strategies that I use is, if it's a bull market, we're going to buy in the morning. And we're going to sell at the end of the day if we got a 0.6% profit. And if we don't got a 0.6% profit, we're going to sell it the next day. That's how these plays work. You buy it on one day, and you sell it on the next day. And that's all you do. You repeat that cycle over and over again. Robinhood is the best platform for this because, um, because you're able to trade for free. So if I'm going to trade one stock, just buy one stock today and sell it tomorrow, because that's what I should be recommending you guys doing. You guys should not be doing entire portfolios with these strategies for one. Like, for example, on February 9th, there's 12 plays. I recommend you buy one stock of every single play. And then after you do that, you get a you get a relative feeling of what's happening in the stock market. You're seeing patterns repeating from this stock to this stock. You see market leaders and market laggers. And all of a sudden your profile is diverse. You don't you're not on one stock that drops 12% while the other 11 stocks jump 3% up. If you had one stock and all 12 stocks, that 1%, that one loss of the 12% would have been erased by the other 11. And your intuition probably would have saw that 15% drop was the weak play. So you probably wouldn't weigh your bets into that, that, that play. You would probably weigh it into other plays. Um, this video is going to be on YouTube. The stock market opens in three minutes. And, uh... I gave the intro, we got the playbook there. We don't really got talkers now, but we're not really here for the talkers, we're here for the YouTube video. And anyone that searches for this playbook, and anyone that's gonna to continue to use this playbook. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be on every single morning, probably about seven AM, eight o'clock, giving you these plays. And I'm gonna walk you through them. In fact, in two minutes, we're gonna open up the stock market. And look at yesterday's plays and see how they, they responded. We're going to look at also February 2nd and see how they responded and CDW. So we get an idea of how things are going. Now, another thing we need to think about is if it's a bear market, we want to buy at the end of the day. Because if it's a bear market, the stock is trending down, right? Not up. If it's up, you want to get in early. If it's trending down, you want to get in late. Makes sense, right? So at the end of the day, you buy at 3 o'clock. You don't buy at 2.15. You don't buy at 2. You don't buy at 145. It's a bear. It's still trending. It may have hit that 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 support. But yes, it's not going any lower. We still got 45 minutes. It's the end of the day. The end of the day is when that, the, the pressure really pushes. And then that's when you buy. Because the pressure pushes it down. And you know what's going to happen the next day? Pop. And then you sell. Another thing you look for, double mountain tops, triple mountain tops, double valleys, and triple valleys. If you don't know what these are, go Google them right now. It's so simple. Also consider all time frames. The one day time frame, double valleys and triple valleys and the one time frame. On the line, use the line. Don't use candle. Just use line. I hate candlesticks. Unless you understand how to read candlesticks, do not use candlesticks. Just use a line. You see... Double valleys, triple valleys, double mountains, and triple valleys and mountains very easy on lines. What else? So I mean, that's basically it. I pretty much told you everything. Now, the only thing you need from me is those plays, which I gave you three days for free. Today is the fifth. I gave you three days. What do I get out of this? Well, I get your attention. I get your viewership, your subscriptions, likes, and so on advertisement views. Really, my service to you is free. For now, until we get some people on the freight train.
I'm also going to accept tips. I'm going to be directly dead honest. And anyone that tips will get every play in the month. The beginning of the month. Now, some of us don't got money, and some are a little skeptical on helping me. And the stock market's starting, but you know what? I'm not trading right now. Because it's the fifth. There's nothing to there's nothing to buy. Just to sell yesterday. And I didn't trade sell yesterday. I mean, really, there's six days you want to trade today. You want to buy on the 9th, the 11th, 12th, the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. And by the 17th, you kind of want to be out. And then by the 17th, by the 20th, you just, you, if anything, by the 20th, you want to sell everything and wait till March 1st to buy anything new. But if you're a long-term investor, you already know how jumping in and out hurts you. So in short-term versus long-term, there's a little bit different um, attack styles. And I actually have a very successful um, trading friend that has over a hundred grand started from 25 grand in about two years so he's had amazing success so let's just jump into the cool the, the fun stuff now i bet you if we open up the stock market right now it is not good and to be frank i haven't looked at the stock market this month so let's, let's take a look. Um, let me get a windowed view over here. Okay. So we're going to capture Firefox over there. Um, but I don't want to show you my playbook. Or I could. I could. I could tease you. Here, I'll, I'll hide the imports information. Just to tease you guys. Because I want you guys back tomorrow. I need you guys back tomorrow. Like, your participation is how I'm going to benefit from helping you. So, let's pull up the playbook. Okay. So, there we go. Right there. That's what I'm using. And now I blacked out the screen right here. I blacked out the screen so you can't see those plays. And technically, you can see the plays over here, and you can see the plays over here. And I'll even show you the end of the month because honestly, after the 20th, you don't want to be trading. 19, 18, 17, you already missed the action. And the 16th is the last day. Pretty much, the 17th and 18th are done. The 18th are the last day. Sorry, I'm not going to just going to be the next fall for sure. Especially here. You might see a pump here and then drop here. And then up here, and then up here. That's kind of what's happening. Well, in the beginning of the month, you see eh, drop, drop, pump, drop, pump, pump, hesitation, pump, 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 hesitation, drop, hesitation, drop. That's kind of what's happening. I mean, it's, I mean, the reason why these squares are so big is because they're filled with plays. But Let's uh, let's jump into looking at the playbook now. So, what's the next? What's our? Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, our play is ADSK. All right, let's let's look at CWD first. We got CWD first. CWD stock. I only need a line graph, so the Google depiction of CWD is going to be perfect. So let's look at let's just look at the one month. Let's look at what when did this call get called? It got called um, February February third and fourth is what it traded on. Probably third and fourth. You would have bought it on the first. There is no first. So you pretty much bought it right there. 
you would have bought it there, it would have dropped a little bit the next day. But you would have saw that downtrend and the double. It's a higher high. It's a higher high though. That's that's also a uh, good looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't see. Let me repeat what I was just saying. The higher high. Um, the fourth, fifth, fourth was right there. Um, now it it was called the first, right? This is where it gets kind of interesting. The first was Saturday. The second was Sunday. The third was Monday, and the fourth was Tuesday. Now I I, I Monday typically repeats Friday, and I call Tuesday turnaround Tuesday. Then I actually got that term from the Motley Fool from someone. Or uh, the 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 platform that's pushing Ethereum, that that platform is what gave me a turnaround Tuesday idea, and I even think about turnaround Thursday as well. So if Monday is bear, Tuesday is gonna be bull. If Monday is bull, Tuesday is gonna be bear. So on the third, third is Monday, and then turnaround Tuesday, and fifth is up. There you go. So even so, the play on this one was the first, I wouldn't buy it until the fourth. And honestly, I wouldn't have bought it at all because of how late it is. Honestly, this would have been a mild ball. Now, one thing you could do is you can hold stocks two to three days and sell at your first profit, especially if you go negative first, you want to sell it instantly at your first profit. To break even, that's Robin Hood, so you break even. But um, typically, you want to buy on this day, sell the next day. But you have to use your intuition and you have to trade still. Let's continue on to the next one. So, CWD, I mean, you would have you 370 to 360. I mean, that's pretty much what you would have risk and honestly it still looks good it honestly looks like it could still go up you know what i mean and you got higher highs that's the only thing i watch out for higher highs um let's look at the one year and we got double valley right here at 162 and 195 we have a double mountain it's not a double mountain here because it's a higher high and this is a higher low um let's go to the five year yeah, that's growth. That is growth right there. But again, you would have bought one of these stocks at the beginning of the day. Actually, you wouldn't have bought at the beginning of the day because it's a bear. So you would have bought at the end of the day and sold it instantly the next day. So actually, you may have profit on this play. On the other hand... It wasn't really that risky. I mean, it's just it's just the first day of the month. It's kind of slow. Just got off of January end of the month bear. So it is what it is. You, you made that one play. Maybe bought one stock at the end of the day. You bought another stock at noon, and then you bought five more stocks at the end of the day for seven total stocks. Then you sold it instantly at the pop up that dropped. You know. You, you, There's a lot of variability within these days that you can opportun make opportunities for yourself. You still got to trade. This is just in a consistent trading environment. And if you're using a working trading system and I put you in a consistent environment, you are going to understand your tools so much better. You're going to understand why your tool is not working. And that's probably the most important thing this engineering tool provides you. All right. If you haven't jumped ahead of, uh, ahead of me already, let's jump to February 2nd, ADSK. ADSK. Uh, so we got a little pump. So the other stock we just looked at on turnaround Tuesday, it jumped 7%. So if you would have bought that on the 4th of you would have actually won 7%. Think about that. And if you would have cost average yourself down, starting with one position in, then adding another one, and then a keep cost averaging, you, you would have gone positive. Cost averaging is very important in the strategy. 
And these are all bow plays. We don't even consider bear plays. Because I, I tried consider I I built a system considering um, bear plays, and <laughs> if I would have tested the system first, I would have turned five thousand dollars into fifty thousand in less than a week. But instead, I took five thousand dollars and sent it to zero. Now with this system, I flipped the logic, thinking. The output logic would flip, but the output logic didn't flip. What actually happened is it found stronger bulls. So I, I, I bought, I, I put a, I put a put thinking, thinking, um, you know, my system is so good. It's so right. We just flip the logic and boom. And we're, do, we're doing options. That's the other thing. And that's how it got so risky. I just I was ignorant stepping into options. Complete ignorance. Complete volatility. I mean, I lost $5,000 in a week. I would have flipped it to 50000 whatever. But basically what happened is after the first day, it dropped for one day. And after that, it rose for seven days straight until my options was killed. I was hanging out in Chicago during that weekend. Uh, I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, typically. That's where I live. But APTV, or ADSK, let's look on the second. February. Oh, 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 look at this. It's a winner. We found a winner. Look at that. You, you can't buy on the third. So you would have bought Friday, January 31st. And you would have sold on the first. Look, look, it's a win. You would have won. Let's go to the next one. I, I love this stuff. I, I go absolutely crazy over this. LNT. All right, LNT. You would have bought on the second. Let's see. Now, instantly, I'm already seeing red flags. You know, it's hitting that ceiling. And you're like, it actually looks like it has potential of breaking through. And even if you did buy that on that second, the, the for January 30, actually January 31st, you would have won. You would have won again. Now, that's now. Let's look at what just happened. We had two stocks on the same day responding the same way. You're going to see this over and over and over again, which is probably one of the most powerful things I provide you in this, this system, is relativity. Because if I took my system and I forecasted just ADSK or just one play, it's not it's it's not holistic enough. Even if my tool is working amazing, my tool can find better plays. And you have computers finding those better plays. And you have those computers showing large masses those plays. So when you use your tool not to an optimal method, you are finding sub average, subpar plays. Well, these plays right here, these plays, these plays are going to utilize the out of your tools. I promise you. Like, let's say on the 56, actually, let's take that back. Let's say on the, the, the 27th, there's no plays. And you and, and right in the morning, you see one stock drop. It's a market leader because market leaders lead. I promise you, you're going to see that same pattern over and over and over again. And that's why this consistent environmental system is going to do you amazing things. This is not a long-term trading strategy. Actually, you can use this to trade long. It's just you have a slower... Um, 
rotation of your assets and you got to use this information to control that slower rotation so really you'd probably buy in the beginning of the month sell around the 18th and wait for the next month and repeat so that's like a month to month basis if you're on a year to year basis you're probably going to buy in the beginning of the year and sell at the end of the year and buy at the beginning of the year again if you're on a macroeconomic scale you're probably going to buy for 7 years and then sell for 4 and then buy for 10 and then sell for 7 and the economic systems like that the the, the yeah the, the holistic waves Man, we only went to three, and it's already 8.46, and I'm already hyped. So, let's look at the third. Look at that, a bear. Bear, over the third. What about the third? Bear. So, I bet you there's a lot more of the stocks bear on the third. Let's check out Apple. Apple. Let's see what Apple did, did on the third. actually went up or wait no 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 yeah you would have bought on third until the next day but you know we're not playing bears and the market's not really risky right now we're we just got out of the hard bear that's just yeah, the beginning of the month the beginning of the month is tends to be whiplashly good and bad let's go to aptv on the uh fourth of february Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so freaking sorry. I have not even been showing you this stuff. Let's just go over ADSK again. Um, Honestly, guys, you, you just open up a second window and go through this with me. If I forget to bring up the screen. Um, at least my... Alright, what's going on here? Why is my computer being slow? Whatever. Actually, I'm not going to go over what I just went over again. You guys can just look at it yourself. But I'm going to show you APTV for the 4th. So on the 4th, you would have bought there. You would have won. You would have won 1.69% today. Easy. CFG. CFD. Now, I would be hesitant. You only, look at that, look at that. You would have bought that yesterday and you would have won 2.73% today for CFG. Look at that. You would have bought yesterday and let's look at the five day. You would have bought yesterday, beginning of the day or the end of the day, probably end because it was a bear, and boom, 2.72%, just like that, like or 1.6%. And that's just the beginning of the day. I mean, it's still going up. You're looking for a double mountain to get out. Although, the second it turns around, I'd get out. Because I'm over my 0.6% average. Continue. FLT. FLT, another winner. Up 0.22%. But it dipped down in its day. Let's pull it up. Pulling up the five day right now. And um, yeah, we're seeing that higher high again. You see that? And the drop from four to fifth, and then recede. So this one, after it turned around, I would have sold right away. So this one kind of predicted what the other one's going to do. So if this actually turns up and goes positive after I sold this, this just like goes higher high, and I sold this, I would hold on to the other one because the other one would dip down and go higher high again. So when the other one dipped down, I wouldn't sell it because it's going to go higher high like this one. 2.5. So, we're today. What are you going to buy? Nothing. Sell your stuff. Go to work. At lunch. Check how your stuff is doing. Sell it if you need to. Actually, you should sell at the end of the beginning of the day. Sell at the beginning of the day and uh, check in at the end of the day. That's what you should do. 
and check out Ali. So let's check out Ali. Get a little heads heads up on what's going on in this week. A little heads up in this week, Ali. Uh, let's see. Ali's Ali stuck. Not all for a German. All right. So let's think about this from a future perspective. So today's the fifth. Tomorrow is the sixth. We're gonna buy this tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. So going for a turn around Thursday. And we're actually seeing a really good week next week. So Thursday, you wanna buy Ollie. And if Ollie is if Ollie appears in any of these, like say Ollie appeared on two eight, two nine, two ten, you might want to hold Ollie or sell it and then buy it back. Now the intuition, you still got to trade consistent environment, powerful relative consistent environment. I promise you, like you're not gonna get it in an easier trading environment than this. If you can't successfully trade with an environment like this, you're gonna have to engineer something on your own that works for you. To be completely honest, and I can help you do that. I can teach you, but it is engineering, and <laughs> it takes a lot of practice to do some of the things I do. But I, I have coached people to try doing what I've done to make myself better. You know, I help them; they help me. But it takes. I have not seen anyone come up with. A system like I have right here and to a point that I could utilize it I mean there are tools like that give you a 52% win rate but that's like a flip a coin it's pretty, pretty much it's like playing blackjack when you're playing blackjack you have a 49 and half percent chance of winning if you play by the rules and a 50 and a half percent chance of losing so the house wins in the long run but with the system, at least for my output, the win rate is 78%. And I only win, lose 22% of the time. So what's 78 minus 22? That's, 70, that's 56 percent advantage over the house is what the system is providing. Okay. You're not gonna win everything. But in the long run, things are gonna look good. And that's why you need to spread your bets why you need a cost average and it's why you gotta take profits when you break even after going negative or take profits after they mature initially and take them immediately before they recede and don't get greedy because I've averaged 0.6% average games and one then got that 78% win rate over 250 plays per three months so it's a thousand play, thousand trades per year. I mean, it's a lot, but really, what you're doing is just waking up in the morning, buying the stock, selling it the next day, and repeating your tools that you already spent so much time indulging in and trying to learn. <sighs> okay, let's continue, guys. Ollie. So one month, it says we're going to buy the 6th. So the 6th, today is the 5th. Today is going to be fair. So pretty much, I'd buy one stock of Ollie at the end of the day. And I'd buy another stock of Ollie in the morning. And if it continues to go down, I would buy another stock at noon. And if it continues to go down, I'd buy... 10 stocks at the end of the day. And then I'd sell it first thing in the morning on, 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 on the 7th. So let's jump into L, L, H, LHX. LHX. Look at that double valley! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me just show you what we're looking at on, on, on this, on LE first. Okay, so it's going down. So I told you, just rewind it if you want me to repeat what I just said. Um, let's go forward to look at that double valley. Oh my goodness, that is gold. If only that play was for today. 
because it's not. And it's only on the one day, so it's very weak, which means that double valley could be broken by lower lows within that same day, which is why you got to look at the double valleys in the one day, the five day, the one month, the three month, the six month, the one year, five year, ten year, and all historical history. To be quite frank, if you want the full holistic picture and to have the most power. But you need focus as well. Just because you look at everything doesn't mean you see everything. But this playbook sees everything. And you just got to look what the playback playbook is focusing on. And your focus is improved and you're able to see everything without looking at everything which is is very important and it's just it's how data works so let's uh jump into the next one for hrl so hrl the buy day is on a saturday so you'd actually buy on a thursday friday but Friday is going to repeat Monday, so if Friday is a bear, you're not going to want to buy on a Friday. If Friday is a bear, you're going to buy bit, buy at the beginning of Friday and sell at the end of the day of Monday. And Tuesday is going to be a bear. But next Tuesday, we expect it to be bull. So we expect Friday to be a bear and Monday to be a bear. So Tuesday, is going to, we're going to bet on turnaround Tuesday, which on the 9th, we have 12 plays, which is only Sunday. The 10th has 4 plays. So that's showing that that Monday is kind of weak, but 211 that Tuesday, turn around Tuesday. <sighs> I promise you. Almost anything you buy in the 10th is going to win on 11. But I'm going to recommend you say these 30 plays. And if you're a long-term investment, expect good things to come out. And no, it was predicted. And at the end of the month, if you're a long-time investor, things are going to get messy. And it's predicted. And you know that bear is coming. And when it hits you, you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable knowing why and that you saw it coming. And maybe you even looked into the next month to understand how long is this bear going to last? Is it only the end of the month? Is it to March 8th? Is it to March 15th? Is it March 17th? Is it March 20th? Is it March 31st? Well, it's definitely not going to be March 31st. It's not going to be that bad of a bear, I promise you. It may be out of the bear by March 1st. It definitely is probably going to be seeing some positive things by March 8th, but if it doesn't seem anything by March 8th, by the 17th, it's going to be booming just like this. The critical days of a month, relatively speaking, using this consistent environment, patterns that I've seen is the 5th to the 8th, the 15th to the 17th, and the 20th to the 31, 31st, all have consistent patterns. Between the 5th and the 8th, that's when volatility usually spikes. 15th to the 17th, that's when volatility also spikes. One reason volatility spikes is because options are expiring. The end of the month is almost always bare, except for a few acceptations probably like an 80 percent rate of bears at the end of the month which means eight out of ten months after the 20th you should not be buying after the 23rd 24th you should be out of all your trades that you are in the short position because it's just going to get heavier and you're going to take more losses through the end of the month on a pretty consistent basis it's one of the most consistent things I've seen in the stock market. The end of the month is always bare. And I'm not quite exactly sure why, but the data sees it, and the data knows why, and that's how I see it, and that's how I know this pattern is consistent, solid, and valid. Let's jump into HRL. Oh, wait, we are looking at HRL. Now we only got two nines. Well, we're not there yet. I'll show you 2-9 on the 9th. Tune in at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to give you any of these plays beforehand unless... 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 You help support the, these different things. I'm going to Facebook. Um, Engineering Gamer, press a like. 
go to Super Henry Tube. Search Super Henry Two on Facebook. That's where you're gonna find these videos. Subscribe to my channel. Go to Super Henry Two on Twitch. You can view me there on your uh, uh, Twitch app. Follow me there. And if you do those three things, I will give you an entire month for free to give you the ability to truly test the playbook to see if you can actually get great outputs. And once you succeed, you're going to want more. And hopefully by then you're, you made 7% and you can send me a tip. And every month I can con continue to send you the month perspective for a monthly subscription of say $5 a month or something. But you can test it for free by going that Going to Super Henry 2, Engineering Gamer, liking it, following it, messaging me, telling me in Engineering Gamer, hey. Um, I liked your stuff. Can you send me the playbook? And I'll be like, yes. Absolutely. Um, my buddy Colin just messaged me saying, ask him to make some money in the stock market. That's what we're trying to do, right? I'm not too much what I got for you guys. You guys shouldn't be looking at the stock market too much today. You shouldn't be buying anything today. Really, you shouldn't be buying anything until the end of the week and again ready for next week's strong bull and holding things through the week. And then the following week, you're going to want to try again your exit positions and then go on vacation. Take a break. Not vacation. Just, you know, go back to your life. Don't look at the stock market. I promise you. This is a consistent environment. And uh, it's 9 o'clock. There's really no reason for me to be here anymore. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning by 8.15. But I'm going to try getting on as early as 7 a.m. Depending on how big the plays are. If it's, a, if it's a no play day, I'm getting on at 8.15. But if it's that 54 play day... You better, I'm going to be here at 7 o'clock going through every single one of those plays. And hopefully some of you guys are there with me next week. So that we can work together as a community and dominate these plays. Thank you guys. Press the like. Share this page. My name is Henry Lemmerman. Search me on Facebook. Search Super Henry 2. You'll find me. But I'm going to write my name for you guys right here so you guys can add me on Facebook. Add the Facebook with the dub hub. It's a music industry for dubstep, not porn hub. As a lot of people think they see in that, but it's dub hub. That's kind of the cool logo, right? But uh, um, Henry Lemmerman, please add me and I will be more than happy. Happy to connect with you and strive to help you guys succeed. And helping you guys succeed helps the health of the whole economy because it's capitalism. And also helps our country because our country is becoming more dominant in methods and ability and experience and business standards and capabilities and professionability and domination of raising the lowest levels of poverty and making America lives great for all. That's what the stock market, that's what stock traders, successful stock traders, that's why they become wealthy. That's why there's so much demand. That's why it's so valuable. You're an investor. You're investing on entrepreneurs. You guys are holding the risk. Thank you guys. Tune in tomorrow. Press that like button. Smash the like too. Peace out.
Oh, what the hell? Why is it still streaming? I could have swore I pressed the stop streaming button. <laughs> That's kind of funny.